Earlier in my channel, we took a look at the unboxing and the quick look of the Game Gear Solid Video Essential combo. And I also promised you that I would get back to you with the review. Hey guys, I'm Rohit here from R8 Tech, here to give the review of the Game Gear Solid Video Essential. So, just before we get the review started, I would like to get a few facts out of the way. This keyboard cannot be compared to the likes of the Corsair K70 or even the Cooler Master Storm Devastator or the ASUS Cerebrus. This keyboard is focused for those on a very strict or rather small budget. With that being said, let's get to the review. The packaging is quite simple and once you open the box, you find a user's manual which is common for both the GKC100 and the GKC110 along with both the keyboard and mouse included in the package. I also made an unboxing and quick look video of the combo. The link to that video will be in the description below. Let's take a look at the keyboard first. The keyboard that comes included in the combo is essentially a membrane keyboard and not a mechanical one. It comes with Game Gear certified membrane switches and sports a polling rate of 1000Hz. Although not great, it is quite good for everyday usage. The WASD keys, arrow keys and all the 10 extra multimedia keys comes coated in red in contrast to its otherwise black color throughout. The keyboard weighs about 791 grams and feels really sturdy when placed in the hand and uses an USB interface over the PS2 one and comes with a 1.5 meter unbraided cable which is not that bad especially when considering the cost of this keyboard. Yes, it does include LED lights but does not come with backlit LEDs. It rather comes with two LED strips on either side of the keyboard which is rather a gimmick than an actual feature. It also comes included with 10 extra multimedia keys other than the ones you find in your normal keyboard. Its functions include opening my computer, web browser, calculator, fast play button, volume increase and slash decrease button, mute and so on which is rather very useful once you get the hang of it. Another important feature that is worth taking a look at is the spill resistant design of this keyboard. The keyboard comes with drain holes at the back for letting out water that enters inside. So in case you spill something on the keyboard, you have to disconnect the keyboard and place it under the sun to let all the water vaporize and then you can continue using it as usual. Other than all this, all the keys feel tactile and is really good to use. The key press is only registered when you press the keys all the way in and keys don't get stuck at any point and are really comfortable too. Even over long sessions of typing or even gaming, your fingers don't tend to get fatigued at all. The back of the keyboard sports anti-slip rubber feet and are adjustable according to the user's preference or the height of your desk, which is quite a nifty and handy feature. Now let's take a look at the mouse that comes included in the combo. The mouse that is included is just an optical mouse and comes with an advanced gaming optical sensor as claimed by Game Dias. And it's not a bad thing at all, especially when considering the price it comes at. It feels really good to use, but let's get to that in a bit. Just like the keyboard, the mouse has an unbraided 1.5 meter cable, which again is not bad at all. It comes finished in matte and hopefully is not a fingerprint magnet, which is a very good thing. The mouse is equipped with lights under the scroll wheel and unlike the Game Gear's logo on the keyboard that we looked at, the one on the mouse lights up and is really good to look at especially at night. The mouse sports a claw grip and weighs 130 grams with no adjustable weights and takes some time getting used to. It comes with 6 keys in total and these include a left and right click button, scroll wheel, DPI switch and two buttons to the left and right which are used to go back and forth a web page. The DPI switch can be used to switch between a number of DPIs which include the option of switching between 1200, 1600, 2000 and 3200 with 1200 as the default DPI. The DPI you are currently in is indicated by the intensity of the red light below the scroll wheel which kind of takes some time getting used to. Nonetheless. The mouse feels really good to hold and although it does not come with rubber grips on either sides, it comes with textured finish which is really provides that required grip. The mouse sports some neatly laid out designs up top and does not look overdone from any angle but rather looks quite stunning. It feels really good in the hand 
and is really good for all the basic purposes, even for some gaming. The Game Gear's RS Vito Essential aka the GKZ100 comes bundled with a great pair of keyboard and mouse. Both the keyboard and mouse are made of great quality plastics and are really good for everyday usage. Although their sensors are not blazingly fast or totally accurate, they seem to do their job and do it rather well. But the only drag I found about the keyboard is the omission of backlit keys. But nonetheless, for the price it comes for, it offers really good value proportion and you can't go wrong with it. So guys, that's all for the review of the GameBS RS Video Essential Combo. Hit that like button if you found this video to be helpful and in the comment section below, type your thoughts on this combo, whether you would really go for it or go in for another keyboard for the following price range. Well guys, also do subscribe for more videos and get notified for every videos I post. Until then, this is Rohit here from RA Tech signing off.